Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachach which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And also want to send out a hearty shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk your lives doing so and efforts of waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami. Coming back at you with another spiritual spill and as usual, nothing written down, just flowing through the spirit. And at best, I'll quote precepts, okay? Now, uh, this one's gonna be inspired by, uh, you know, something the beloved brother, Ramak Yum Young, said at the end of camp uh, Saturday, this past Saturday, you know, and uh, it pretty much was inspired by something we heard uh, from the elder brothers, a car from the New York camp. And uh, plainly, you know, and it was beautiful, you know, who better than him to, uh, you know, exhort us with those words. And what he basically was hitting on is that, uh, you know, he said, brothers, make sure, make sure that you're serving your God, okay? You know, make sure that you're serving the Heavenly Father. And what he was insinuating is that, um, you know, he said, look, we're, we're up under the elders in, in New York. And one of the main things they tell us, and, you know, we, from time to time, you hear it in the videos that, uh, they can't save us, you know? And um, when you read the scriptures, you see that we're all working for that same penny, you know? And uh, ultimately we're all that same reward, which is what? Salvation, okay? Now, of course, there is order, you know? And the Most High does not play about his order, okay? But like the brother said, order is set up when certain things need to be dealt with, okay? Because the scriptures also say, uh, be subject to your masters, but also you be subject to one another, okay? Because at the end of the day, we're brothers. We're all brothers, okay? But there is a respect for order, okay? And um, that's how the Most High has always moved, okay? One of the main uh, 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 instances or examples, um, you know, that I could uh, think of is uh, with uh, with uh, Moses, okay? And, um, and, and uh, Jethro, okay? Telling him, look, man, Moses, you can't, you can't uh, um, hear all these people out and judge all these people. It will it, it'd be too much for you. It basically here to bug you out. Okay, so that's why you have already have captains. You know, uh, you have the bishops, the deacons, the captains, and so on and so forth. Okay, but for the most part, brothers, we need to understand that. You know, and really, what the brother, uh, the elder brother Zakar was hitting on is, you know, not to be a man pleaser. Okay, because. When you first come into this thing, man, hey, the most intriguing part of this faith is what you're being taught by the men that have been laboring in this thing, okay? And that's why the scriptures say, uh, what, what is it? Uh, uh, mar uh, uh, mark the perfect man, if I'm not mistaken, you know? And really, that that it's amusing, okay? When you know, I speak for myself, when I first came in this thing, man, seeing those men, uh, 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 go and grab those scriptures like that that was like wow that's amazing okay and then once you get it a part of it and you start you know becoming a student and you start having to teach you understand that it's really divine okay like those scriptures just come to your mind you know but that's all based off you studying and your work ethic you know and then you learn that you you figure that out you know these guys uh got on this level first and foremost through the spirit of power behind by shimao shah obviously okay but secondly, they put in the work, they put in the time, you know? But um, like I said, you're, you're pretty much starstruck, you know? And why? Because we, we thirst after righteousness and we love wisdom, okay? And that means you're gonna love the men that the Most High has put wisdom into, okay? But there's a fine line. And when you look at it, men, men don't want their asses kissed, man. And if you are a man that likes your ass kissed, there's something wrong with you. You know, you might be a narcissist or whatever, you know, but for the most part, men don't like to be sucked up to, man. Okay. And, 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 and for the scriptures say, the scriptures say, uh, 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 serve the Lord is not being man pleasers, you know, because at the end of the day, the scriptures say you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay. Now, Hey, 
the water Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, call her Lawyer La Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, for giving us men that have labored in this thing and that we've entered into. We've entered into their labors. Okay? Showing you how much the Heavenly Father loves us, man. Okay? But on the flip side, you, you got to bear your own cross, man. You, you got to do your own work, you know? And you have to develop a relationship with the Heavenly Father and His Son, man. Okay? Well, or with the Heavenly Father through His Son, Salakia. Okay? Why? Because, like the scriptures say, we're all going to have to appear before the judgment seat. Okay? You can't go hold hands with another brother. Okay? The brother that you learned the most from, you're going to walk up. No, no, no. You're going to have your own trials and tribulations, man. Okay? Now, of course, we give double honors to the elder apostles. Okay? And give the due respect to the, 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 the heads of camps and the men that have been set up in order. But always remembering that, look, hey, uh, really, and a part of you uh, serving Yahweh by Shem Shai is being brotherly and doing those things and staying in order. The Most High does not play about order. There are pre plethora of scriptures that uh, uh, that have been uh, brought out as examples of men who didn't do such. Okay, so that should go without saying. Okay, and you're not going to be a part of this faith unless you can keep order, man. Okay, that's just the reality. You know, but also understanding, man, this is, hey, you got to do your job, you know, do your job, like uh, Bill Belichick says, you know, hey, and really, you know, he's going to go down as one of the best head coaches in, in, in football history, in NFL history, okay, if not the best, and one of his key slogans is do your job, okay, don't worry about, you know, this man or that man, now, of course, we bear each other's burdens, and, you know, uh, we're here, we're the, the shoulder to lean on when we need to be. Okay, but make sure you're doing what you need to do. The scriptures say there is one that's profitable to many, but it's not, a, but it's not profitable unto himself. You see, and that's the reason why we're in this faith, man. So we can build up, uh, build up our faith, you know, which is going to be the stability uh, in the times of trouble. Okay, and it would, it would, it would absolutely be asinine if you were a part of this thing and you weren't doing that, man. Okay, because guess what, sifting season. And I mentioned this before, sifting season is going to be all the way up until we're actually being up on the chariot, okay? All the way. So there's never a time to get lax and to take your hand, uh, take your foot off the pedal, okay? You, you got to stay on the gas. You got to con continue to labor. You got to uh, uh, continue to wait, continue to be patient, okay? And do the things that are conducive to uh, salvation, okay? But also understanding, man, serve your God, man. Okay, you 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 are uh, like the uh, El, I mean the brother uh, Ramak said. You know we we don't care about thumbs up on the pages, man. You know now of course, you know you got brothers that are doing it in sincerity. They it was a it was a good video, okay. But you got others who just you know inter internet warriors. You know always on the page. Hey, con con elder Shalom ass kissing, man. That that sucks, man. Men don't like that shit, man. Okay, and as a man, you shouldn't like that either. You shouldn't want to do that. Now, of course, you give double honors. You know, you give praises. You, 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 uh, hey, one of the ways you show the Heavenly Father you're thankful is by constantly watching their shows. And that's another thing. Brothers, continue to watch. Hey, make sure you're getting a hefty, healthy dose of watching the Elder Apostles, man. Okay? Because, hey, look at that reward. And when you look at it now, if, if you're really not a part of Great Millstone or destined to uh, be of the elect, you can't find the elders, okay? You have to know somebody that knows somebody, okay? How Esau keeps zapping the pages and shit, you know? But, hey, that's a part of the famine of the world coming into play, you know? So, you know, like, make sure you're, you're, you're watching the healthy dope because why not, <laughs> you know? Now, of course, there are thousands and thousands of edifying videos coming out daily, okay, from all types of brothers, brothers who've been in the faith a year, two years, all the way on up to the elder apostles, man. Okay? But make sure, because those are our spiritual fathers. Make sure you're watching them. That's how you can pay homage. You know, the elder apostle Taha always says it, man. Look, when I do those videos on the breakdowns and going deep and stuff, people don't watch them. Why? Because they want entertainment. They want to see a fight. They want to see cursing. Okay? That's why pretty much that spirit has left a uh, great millstone, man. All the yelling and screaming and, you know, uh, uh, pointing people out. Hey, you, you know, you know, that, that spirit pretty much has faded away, man. Okay, you got brothers sometimes, you know, get in the spirit and get fiery. 
But hey, this ain't entertainment, man. You know? And now the spirit is is pushing out. Just just preach, man. Okay, the uh the beloved brother Elder Kasad Maga uh from uh, the DC camp did a beautiful lesson basically saying, look, fuck emotions, man. Just teach the word. You know? Just teach the word, because it's bigger than every individual uh, one of us, man. We endure all things for the elect's sake. Okay, that's what it's about. And doing that, you please your heavenly father. Okay, that is the goal. Make sure you're pleasing the heavenly father, man. Okay. Like the apostle Paul said, um, you know, uh, when he came to see those brothers, I forget what church it was, but he said, uh, you, you would have almost like plucked your eye out for me, you know? And then, you know, he had gotten bad reports about him or whatever. But that's the spirit you need to have towards your house by Shemel Shah. You need to be ready to pluck your eye out for the Lord. Whatever it might be, whatever you need to trim, whatever you need to cut. And I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, okay? Because the relationship is with them, okay? Of course, we have to be in order under the men that are over us. But nonetheless, doing that, doing that pleases Yahweh by Shemel Shah. And that should be your focal point, okay? So, um... Uh, I believe I hit the point of Lord William that was uh, edifying or exhorting. And uh, to the next time I say Shalom. <laughs>